Hi everyone, so in this particular class today we are going to learn about writing a GS3 answer. This GS3 answer question was asked in 2024 paper and the question is what are the causes of persistent high food inflation in India? So this is the first part of the question. What are the causes of persistent high food inflation in India? The second part of the question is comment on effectiveness of monetary policy of RBI to control this kind of inflation. So there are two parts of the question. Number one, you have to identify the two parts of the question and you have to accordingly answer both the parts. You can't leave out one part and expect to get good marks. So in this, you have to follow the time tested approach that I have mentioned in my book also, which is number one, define the main concept that is asked in the question. Here it is inflation, food inflation, which is the main concept they're asking about, define it then provide the causes of this high inflation in food in India. And then third, you have to talk about the effectiveness of monetary policy that RBI uses to control this inflation. This is an analytical question because now they're asking you whether monetary policy of RBI is actually effective in combating food inflation. So number one, food inflation is the kind of inflation or see food inflation is different because it's a category of inflation. So first you can define inflation. So inflation is the increase in general increase in prices of the goods and services so inflation is general increase in prices of goods and services food inflation is generally cost due to fluctuation in in supply of food items so when there is a lack of supply of food items obviously the prices will increase so you can write that a decrease in supply of food item like rice can cause increase in its price levels. So here you are also giving an example clearly stating what it means so that the examiner understands that you actually know the concept well. So now <coughs> you can provide various reasons, so causes of persistent high food inflation in India. Okay. And then you can write one by one reasons. Normally, I don't prefer explaining the particular points too much because it can cause you to write too much and you don't have infinite amount of time. You have to write in limited amount of time. So it is better to always limit the amount of time in which you are writing. So supply side con constraints I have already mentioned. You can start with like rising fuel prices. Okay. So increase in fuel leads to increase in transportation and production costs which can increase price of food okay in two three lines you can actually explain these high demand of food demand of food certain items you know especially items which are becoming high in demand due to maybe festivals due to population growth due to changing consumption patterns so changing consumption patterns population growth, festivals, 
during festivals a particular item might be there in more demand so festivals urbanization sector can also increase food inflation okay written number 2 point move to number third point in third point we can write about the commodity markets so commodity markets so these are like worldwide markets where these food items are also traded so speculation in worldwide commodity markets can cause food inflation simple to the point no fuss is okay you don't have to be too detailed in certain things <coughs> then you can also write about supply side i have also mentioned already but you can write more supply side constraints so here due to poor agricultural productivity inadequate infrastructure like storage infrastructure etc right and frequent climatic and other disruptions can also cause food inflation and now here you can give an example for example untimely rains untimely monsoons can hamper output in indian agriculture markets okay now we have pretty much addressed the first part of the question we can move on to the second part which is effectiveness of effective ness of rbi monetary policy see in this particular question he is specifically asking about effectiveness of the monetary policy now what is monetary policy you must all know in order to be able to answer this kind of a question monetary policy is nothing but the tool by which rbi can change interest rates in order to combat inflation in the markets combat the availability of money in the markets however can it control food inflation maybe to some extent but it has a lot of limitations because food inflation is caused due to the other factors which are not related to interest rates per se directly as much so here you can write rbi monetary policy uses interest rates to control inflation but food inflation is largely driven by supply side factors as mentioned above okay so despite tight monetary policy food inflation could often continue to persist okay 
hence it is less effective in addressing this okay here you can end your answer that it can overall rbi's monetary policy can influence inflation but food inflation not so much addressing these structural issues is more important so you can add that so therefore addressing structural issues mentioned above are more important in handling food inflation all right so overall you see what i did here it is not a very difficult question it's a very doable and in fact it's a scoring question because you will read this concept in the upsc first we are talking about the food inflation we are defining the food inflation second we are talking about the overall reasons that there is a persistent high food inflation in india then we are talking about the effectiveness of the rbi monetary policy whether it can handle food inflation or not and then you can end with how you can actually address food inflation in just couple of lines so overall this is how you will get good marks by addressing this question